In this video, I will be showing you how to do sample number 11, which are called knife pleats. So let's go ahead and get started. So when you first get this paper, you're going to want to just cut it out um, just so that it looks something like this. And you'll need to indicate um, grain, which should be going um, in the width direction on this pattern piece, not uh, length. So go ahead, cut it out, mark your grain line, and then go ahead and get your fabric ready. Okay, so when you have your pattern on the fabric, I, you do need to make sure you're going to mark all of these lines because it will help you with folding. So uh, my recommendation is you can just kind of do it uh, a little bit underneath the pattern or you could do it with the red tracing paper um, and the pin wheel needle tool tracing wheel um, or you could just kind of stick your pencil in some of these points any of those ways works just fine um, as long as you are able to get the lines as exact to the pattern as possible in the correct place so go ahead and get all your lines drawn on your fabric and cut it out so that it's ready for folding. Okay, once you have finished drawing all your lines and you cut out your fabric, this is what it should look like. And then we're gonna go ahead and take this over to uh, the ironing board. Okay, so if you've ever made one of those paper fans in like grade school, where you just kind of fold the paper like an accordion, it's kind of similar. So we're gonna start off with folding one line like that and then you'll just take the sewing excuse me that uh, iron to the fabric and I, I put it backwards behind and then this next panel this line here uh, needs to get folded this direction two and if you need a little shortcut you can kind of just match up this edge to the next line and that will get fold the, the other one right on the inside there perfectly yep see right in there perfect so first I went under now I'm going over Okay, so once I've made a Z shape, then the next step is to not keep folding it into a fan where it ends up like one pile, but I'm going to kind of skip a space, pinch this next line. And then that one is going to end up going, skipping a line, and touching the next one, like that. And I'll probably just kind of give it a good little iron on the back. Okay, great. So same thing. I'm going to skip over to this next line. Pinch it. And then skip this line and drag it to that next one. Just like that. And you will be graded on how straight and even these are. 
So again, it's a domino effect. You know, if you, you have to put the fabric on grain, otherwise the fabric will not behave and it'll try to curve when you fold. Then you have to cut out straight, then you need to draw your lines straight and trace as accurately as possible. And the better you get at doing those preparing stages, then the better the outcome is going to be. So yeah, you'll just keep doing that for the rest of this little fabric piece. Um, and then to kind of hold everything in place, you're just going to sew across one inch down just to hold everything together. And that is a wrap for the pleats.